Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are making. Oh, this is warm. Oh no, yes. Today we're making milk bread with cocoa powder on top. Um, it's just, you know, just to add a little bit of color to it. Totally optional. If you want, you can add icing sugar instead too. It adds a little bit more sweetness to the bread. So whichever you prefer. Look how fluffy it is inside. Anyways, if you're interested, keep on watching.
So something about yeast for yeast in general is that they really don't like salt. Um, so if you're putting it like the instant yeast, if you're putting it with the dry ingredients, make sure you mix everything in like the salt and the flour and the sugar, everything in so the flour and the sugar can act as like a buffer in between so they don't die when they meet the salt. Same thing for the uh, traditional one, if you're having salt in there, it's best to kind of mix it with the flour first. So mix it with the flour to act as a buffer before you add the yeast. But yeah, that's kind of like, thought to share a little bit about yeast in general because that's kind of what I've been playing around with recently. And I just don't see that many people using instant yeast on YouTube. So I thought to kind of show how people do it because for me I was searching for how to like I was searching around for like recipes that use instant yeast and I didn't really see many um, but yeah anyways another thing I want to note some people put down the amount of time they wait for the proofing for it to rise to the shape before they bake but it really depends on your environment the humidity the temperature it raises the yeast in different time if you're using like i don't know um, warm water versus cold water. Um, cold water, it takes longer for the yeast to rise in general. So um, if you're not using like the correct temperature or if your environment is not that warm, it, it may take longer for your dough to rise. And so for me at first, and I was making it, I'm like, it says wait 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes and my bread looks, it, does, it didn't double in size yet. What the heck is, like, did I do something wrong? Like, what's going on? It's because I'm in Canada, it's cold, it's drier here. So um, when I'm making the dough, it takes longer for it to rise. I use, uh, my oven does have a proofing option, but even with the proofing, I notice it does take longer for my dough to double in size um, kind of like compared to some of the videos I was watching so um, if your dough doesn't rise within the time frame it's totally okay just keep waiting have patience um, and wait until it actually does double in size which it definitely will it just needs some time and then put it in the oven after so for me even though the recipe I tried says half an hour. I actually let it rise for one hour instead and it did rise um, double in size so it's just nice and it, it is really important for it to double in size first. It makes it look bigger and it's like oh you're eating more. <laughs> but more importantly the um, the inside it's a lot more fluffier, it's lighter airier and it just the texture of the bread tastes better you just give it some time for it to bloom that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time bye